Hi, my name is Melissa. I am the chef owner of Musang. I'm the Star Chef 2020 Seattle Rising Star. We started up as a small pop-up three years ago, um, and we started as a brunch pop-up. Pop-ups became more frequent. We started doing late night pop-ups. Um, we started doing private dinners and just kind of seeing not only the, the Filipino community come to support, but like Seattle in itself come to support was the part that was so incredible. You know, last year especially, and it just showed us that if we were to exist, people would come. I think for us and myself, my team, Using the Vitamix Blender has been incredible in, term of, in terms of experimenting. It's a great tool because it's not just a single functioning blender. So in using the Vitamix Blender, we're able to also incorporate other techniques that a home cook maybe not have the, the option to do, or we get to be a lot more creative in um, more traditional recipes. And I think that's been really exciting for us. Um, today we're making Ginnatan with the help of the VitaPrep 3. In our vegan bagaong, we have uh, turmeric, ginger, shiitakes, dried and fresh. Um, we also have kombu and fermented black beans. Um, a little bit of nutritional yeast and mushroom powder. And so we use the Vita Prep 3 um, and we put all of the ingredients inside, put a little bit of canola oil and we blend it up. Um, once it's um, all kind of blended together, uh, we saute it for about five minutes and we kind of cook through the ginger and the turmeric and the garlic. We set that aside and then for the coconut cream sauce, we actually uh, have ginger, turmeric and garlic and with a little bit of oil. Saute that down until it's kind of almost golden and crispy. Then we add the vegan bagaong to that dish um, and let it cook for another probably minute or so. And add the coconut cream um, and then season to taste. Using the Vita Prep 3, it's incredible because how quick it is. Um, I think, you know, in the past we've hand chopped the items or used other blenders or other machines and it takes too long or the consistency um, isn't consistent, right? Um, but when you use the VP3, it's like, okay, I know that's going to take me five minutes, put all the things in, and it's really quick. We actually roast butternut squash um, as our protein for the dish, and we thought, how, what if we dehydrate? Dehydrate it, and then blend it, and kind of come up with a powder. Um, and using the BP VP3, you can actually use dry ingredients, too. And so, I remember the first time we did it, me and Joe were like, oh my god, this is so cool, like, it's dust. Um, and so when we put the dehydrated squash in, um, it gets this really nice crumbly, like, dust texture, which is cool to add to the dish. So we take our favorite bowl, um, pour in the coconut cream, and then place all of the uh, roasted squashes. Um, we really like the element of cilantro and mint because it adds a nice freshness to the dish. Um, and then we've got toasted sesame seeds. Um, and then we add our dehydrated squashes that have been blended in the VP3, um, which adds a nice like color element to you. So you've used the squash in so many different ways. And then the annatto oil is our finishing touch on the dish, which we also make with our VP3. Um, here is our version of Musang's Ginnata